Good evening and welcome to the 11th Annual Celebrity Dance Challenge brought to us by Veritas Collaborative. This year, more than ever before, the world needs Eden. The show will begin shortly. Every hour, at least one person dies in the United States as a direct result from an eating disorder. An estimated 30 million people in the United States struggle with an eating disorder. 20 million women and 10 million men. Eating disorders are mental and physical illnesses categorized by unhealthy relationships with food and serious disturbances in eating behaviors. Register to watch the show, donate or vote for your favorite dancer. Text 844-595-1235. The word give, the amount, and the word eat in. Or visit qtego.net backslash qlink backslash eat in. Register now and support your favorite dancer. And remember that you can vote as many times as you like, and each vote helps your favorite team of dancers win the coveted Mirabal Trophy. To register and participate in this evening's broadcast, please go to qtego.net backslash qlink backslash eden. What? Good evening, everyone. My name is Marcy Saran. I'm the executive director of Eden. Thank you for joining us for the 2021 Veritas Collaborative and Eden 11th Annual Celebrity Dance Challenge. Eden is a local organization in Atlanta. We're dedicated to education and insight on eating disorders, and we also work to promote body positivity and mental health. Since the onset of the pandemic, eating disorder cases have increased more than 70% across the country. In response to the ongoing pandemic, we made the difficult decision to cancel our annual Celebrity Dance Challenge in person for the second year in lieu of a virtual celebration and a dine-along. This year's charity broadcast features six celebrity dancers and six fantastic dance professionals who all have worked to raise critical funds to support the mission of Eden. To register tonight and bid and participate in the auction or to vote for your favorite dancer, text E-D-I-N to 72727. There are many ways to support Eden during this evening's broadcast that can be done using the Cutego platform. If you're watching and haven't registered to view the program live, text EDIN to 72727. Now's your chance to support the silent and live auctions as well as the give for a cause that will be coming up later in the show. Most importantly, if you register now, you'll be able to support that favorite dancer of yours by casting your vote to help them win. Each vote tonight is $3, and all of the revenue that we earn from this evening's broadcast will go towards the creation of virtual programming in schools and for athletic coaches. So register now by texting EDIN to 72727 and support your favorite dancer. And remember, you can vote as many times as you like, and that every vote helps your favorite team of dancers win that coveted mirror ball. To register and participate, go to qtego.net forward slash Q link forward slash Eden. Be sure to check out, uh, be sure to check out the live auction, which includes the week in Tuscany for up to four people, which is courtesy of Leon Hinsman. There's also a seven night Mexico trip where the winner gets to pick out si from six different Mexico luxury resorts, which include Cancun or Puerto Vallarta. Or perhaps you might be interested in local theater tickets to the Grinch who stole Christmas, Christmas at the Fox Theater. Stay tuned for the live broadcast of the Veritas Collaborative and Eden 11th Annual Celebrity Dance Challenge charity broadcast. It's about to begin. But first, here's a word from our wonderful board of directors. 
Hi, I'm Paige Love. I'm a registered dietitian and I've been involved with the Board of Eden since it started 25 years ago and very excited about having you enjoy our 11th annual Celebrity Dance Challenge and never in a million years would I have believed I would actually be dancing in this thing, but I'm so excited to be here and have you all enjoy it and learn more about what we do. And hi, I'm Linda Buchanan, and I am co-chair of the board for Eden, and so, so excited to be a part of this, um, of this board, of this organization that does amazing work as far as outreach and education for this, uh, this problem that is so misunderstood in our community, and um, I really hope you enjoy this show, and bid, bid, bid. And I am Ruth Falkenstein. I am also co-chair of the board of Eden, and I am thrilled to be a part of this amazing organization that does so much good for the Atlanta community. I hope you enjoy the show and um, enjoy all of the dancing. Hi, I'm Nancy Griffith. I'm an attorney in Cleveland, Ohio, and that's how important Eden is, as it touches us even this far away. I've been on the board for a couple of years, and I'm so pleased to be able to help out um, in refining and defining the message and helping as many people in the community as possible. Thanks to Veritas for sponsoring and all of the dancers. I'm so excited uh, to watch the dance challenge. Hi, I'm Yotam Oz, and this is my first year being on the board involved in the Dance Challenge, and Ari and I are very excited to see all the dancers, and a special shout out to our favorite aunt, Robin Brill, who's dancing, and uh, thank you for Eden for all the wonderful things that they do with outreach in the community and raising awareness for, um, you know, eating disorders and mental health, and uh, I'm excited to contribute going forward, and good luck, everybody. And so, cheers. To Eden. Here's to Eden. Here's to Eden. Enjoy your evening. Welcome to the, the Veritas Collaborative and Eden 11th Annual Celebrity Dance Challenge. This year, we're honored for Veritas Collaborative's support. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Good evening. Hi, I'm Chase Bannister, Senior Vice President for Community Engagement for Aconto Health with brands The Emily Program and Veritas Collaborative. And I'm Jillian Lampert. I'm the Chief Strategy Officer for Aconto Health with Brands Emily Program and Veritas Collaborative. We're so excited to almost be here with you tonight. I know. We wish we could be there dancing with you. And we hope you are having a wonderful evening tonight. As founder of Veritas Collaborative, I can say for myself, we couldn't be more thrilled than to be your partners. Absolutely. And so excited about the work that's being done and so pleased that you've shown up to support the work. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And we really look forward to seeing you in person. Take good care. Bye. Bye. And now please welcome your host for the evening, psychol psychologist, past Celebrity Dance Challenge winner, and Eden Board Vice President, Dr. Linda Polk Buchanan, and CEO of Sean O'Keefe Events and loser of the 2020 Celebrity Dance Challenge, Sean O'Keefe. Sorry. We're supposed to be looking this way. It's a good thing that we're not competing this year uh, in the competition. And another thing, not to rub it in your face, Sean, but can I add that I'm a two-time Celebrity Dance Challenge winner, uh -huh. two years in a row. But it's great to be back for another year. This is our second virtual event due to the ongoing pandemic, and the goal is the same as it's always been, to raise awareness and raise critical funds to help expand outreach and programs for Eden. We're so grateful for your support tonight. As many of you already know, raising money for eating disorders is so challenging because most people mistakenly assume that it's a choice. But research has shown that it is no more of a choice than having depression or addiction or even cancer for that matter. As a matter of fact, 60 to 80% of the factors causing an eating disorder are actually physiological and require specialized treatment. That's right, Linda. Eden does need your support and help so that we can continue to help those who struggle with eating disorders and supporting those who help them. For as long as eating disorders continue to decrease the quality of life for those we love and care for, Eden will continue to stand in the gap and promise to enrich, educate, and provide insight and resources to patients, families, and their providers. In other words, the show 
must go on. And that's what we have in store for you, a full hour of fun and excitement. To register to bid and vote for your favorite dancer, text EDIN, text E-D-I-N, to 72727. Before we get going, let's preheat our ovens and get those cocktail shakers ready for our Capitol Grill Dine-Along and that now soon to be famous Tito's Handmade Vodka Blueberry Lavender Ginger Beer Cocktail. everybody. The dinner looks great, but I think what's going to look a little bit greater is this cocktail once we get going. So everybody at home, take out your Capitol Grill martini shaker. We're going to start with about an ounce and a half of Tito's handmade vodka, an equal amount of Fentiman's ginger beer. That's about an ounce and a half of ginger beer. And then to that, we're going to add a half an ounce of Sally's Blueberry Lavender Simple Syrup. So Linda, I'm gonna shake and make this one for you. And you can do the favor and shake and make a cocktail for me. I I'll will. review the recipe for everyone at home while you're doing that. So it's about one and a half ounces of Tito's Handmade Vodka, one and a half ounces of ginger beer, and one half of an ounce of the Fentiman's Lavender Blueberry Simple Syrup. Thank you, Linda. And cheers on making your drink your own individual way. Cheers. <laughs> she is fantastic. Welcome, everybody. And let's get right to the show. <laughs> so, Sean, what do, should we call this amazing drink? I think we're going to call it the I Could Have Danced All Night. Ah, that's a great idea. Now here's a spoiler alert. Watch carefully to the show because later we will be giving away some surprise gifts to everyone who participated in this year's Capitol Grill Dine Along. Now tonight we have six dance teams which will be competing for the coveted Mirror Ball Trophy. Our official judges for this evening are... Our dear friend Sanders Halsey, who has been a judge for years and supported this organization. And whether he is hosting charity or a fundraising event or even doing stand-up around town and beyond, Sander's razor-sharp comedy comes fully loaded with socially relevant and sometimes socially irrelevant um, quips, paradoxes, and personal stories about living gay and sober in the South. More widely, for those of us who are wondering, that's known as sarcasm. Currently, Sanders performs his stand-up routine throughout the Southeast. Regardless of venue or situation, audience members have always described Sanders' unique brand of comedy as quirky, fresh, upbeat, and offbeat. And our second judge is Kimmy G. Born and raised in New Jersey, Kimmy G always loved to perform. From high school musicals to winning local talent shows, she decided to pursue dance professionally. Her passion led her to the NBA for three seasons as a Philadelphia 76ers dancer. She then headed south with hopes of furthering her career in dance. In 2009, Kimmy auditioned for Beyonce's I Am World Tour and has been touring alongside Bay ever since. Kimmy G is currently the founder of Chemistry Dance Company and is heavily involved with the development of the XL Teen Program at XL Studios in Atlanta, Georgia. Whoop, whoop. So let's get this party started. The first of our dancing duos this evening are Zana Dillard and Duriel dancing the salsa. Let's take a look. I'm Zana Dillard. I'm Duriel Porter. Well, my connection with Eden is uh, a dear friend of mine, Meg, introduced me to this organization and just really impassionate about what they're doing and their uh, goal to make awareness in the community about eating disorders. Well, honestly, I'm relatively new to uh, Eden and, and what they do for the community and for eating disorders. So I was blown away that this is something that I didn't know about because uh, I have a lot of friends and families who have experienced um, eating disorders, so there is a, an attachment uh, to this uh, that I, I love to learn about and I'm looking forward to learning more about. You need to vote for us because, you see this right here? Fantastic. 
Uh, right? You agree? You agree? Of course. Okay, yeah. come on now. Just wait till you see us dance. Just you wait. Almost there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was fantastic and steamy. Let's ask Mr. Sanders Hosley his thoughts on first set of celebrity dancers. Zana and Darrell. Wow, that was fantastic, guys. I have to say, uh, the good old days where a guy can buy a gal a drink at the bar and the next thing you know, they're salsa dancing. And I don't know a lot about salsa dancing, but I know a lot about salsa. And that was hot, you guys. Hot, hot, hot. And I enjoyed every minute of it. Loved the costumes, loved the backdrop, loved the whole steamy bar scene. It was great. Thank you, Sanders. And thank you for all that you have done for Eden over the years. Up next is Paige Love and Susie with a special interpretive dance. Watch your screen. I'm Paige Love and I'm a registered dietitian and I'm on the board for Eden and I am so excited about Celebrity Dance Challenge 2021. I want to introduce you to our dance team, Susie Grimley, our choreographer and also a pro dancer from Endpoint Studios, Anna Wood, a lovely tennis friend, Kathy Watts Jones, another lovely tennis friend and we are the Love Your Body with Tennis Dancer. Woohoo! <laughs> My personal connection to Eden goes way back 25 years ago. Ina and I uh, really helped get this going and it became Eden over the years. And I have thoroughly loved being able to do outreach in the community and help young people as a dietitian, going into the schools and helping with prevention and, of eating disorders and improving body image has been my passion. My connection to Eden is that I run a dance company and we are a body positive dance company and Paige will come out every year and do a talk to the dancers about proper fueling. Yeah, the experience has been great because they turned out to be really good dancers but I haven't been turned out to be a really good tennis player. <laughs> but it was really fun because I got to go out and watch tennis and see how much, uh, how many dance steps there already are in a tennis game so we took those and incorporated them into our dance. We're going to win because we are hot and we are good and we are in sync. <laughs> oh, her eyes, her eyes Make the stars look like they're not shining Her hair, her hair Falls perfectly without 
that really was a revolutionary performance. In fact, I think they've coined a new event. Should we call it Tenancing or Dennis, maybe? Anyway, let's go see what Kimmy has to say. Paige, Susie, and the Love Your Body with Tennis Dancers. Great job. I really enjoyed your video. Super clean, super fun. Um, I love the team energy, but I also love how you celebrated everyone's individuality. I could see it in the different colors. I could see it in the different solos. I really enjoyed how you celebrated each other. Great job. Thanks, Kimmy. We so appreciate having you join us this year at the Celebrity Dance Challenge. The first item I'd like to discuss this evening that's up for bid is a week at a Tuscan villa in Manciano, Italy for up to four people, courtesy of my friend Leon Hinsman. And I don't know, Linda, what you don't know is that I've been on this trip and it was by far the greatest vacation I've ever had in my life. Wow, tell us more about it. Didn't you buy this trip? last year? I did. I think so. One of the things you have to look forward to, aside from the wonderful town of Manciano and Patigliano, which is featured in the center of the photo montage, but also Porto Santa Stefano, and then the incredible um, Saturina Hot Springs, as well as so many little tucked away wine and cheese and little restaurants. It's really a, it's a, everything that you would want from Tuscany in one week. Well, I bought it last year and I can't wait to go. There is also a wonderful seven night Mexico trip where the winner gets to pick from six different Mexico luxury resorts. Destinations include Acapulco and Puerto Vallarta. So let's take a look at the Mexico vacation. Our third item this evening that I'd like to just mention, and this has been a favorite um, auction item for Eden over the last couple of years, and it is a romantic sunset plane ride around the city of Atlanta. And I hear they're even gonna throw in a bottle of champagne this year, which will make it extra special and extra romantic. Now, let's get back to more dancing. Up next, Aaron Leisure and the J Dance Company with a contemporary dance number that is simply out of this world. I am Erin Leisure and I am the Director of Dance at the MJCCA. The cause that Eden serves is very important to me. I have a very robust dance program with children and teens and young adults and we have quite a few children and teens that suffer from eating disorders, some that don't understand it yet, some that don't know that they are and this living a healthy life in all aspects is very important to me. So getting the information to people in need is incredibly important. Most of the students that are dancing I have had since they were two years old. So I, that's the most rewarding and amazing part for, of this for me. 
why are we gonna win? Well, I think we're the first group that's not just a couple. I think that having the eight dancers that are facing these challenges is just giving us an advantage. That was truly amazing. And Erin, as someone who works in this field, I can't tell you how important it is to have people like you in the community supporting the body positive message. But let's see what Sanders has to say. Well, Erin, I have to say, what you were doing with these girls is fantastic. I think the positive role model image that you have, great dance company. The girls were killing it out there. I, it was almost like y'all have an unfair advantage because like, all the dancers seem to be the professional dancers. Um, I loved it. I thought it was great. The choreography was hypnotizing. Um, and the costumes were fabulous. I loved the costumes. And I thought y'all did a fantastic job. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good choreography. And keep being a fabulous positive role model for all these girls. Loved it. Thank you, Sanders. Now, with a special dance performance, is Excel Studios Teen Program Dancers. The Excel Teen Program prepares young dancers who are forging a career in professional dance. Their performance this evening will be followed by a word from some of this evening's sponsors. Take a look. We could find somebody to get to go. We could only make a cry. We deserve somebody to get to go. He's good cold as ice, ice,
lot of my time in eating disorder treatment, people saw me as a diagnosis, but Veritas really took the time to get to know me as a person and know the people in my life. This disease is incredibly isolating. It makes you question everything as a caregiver and as a parent. Veritas makes me feel like I'm never alone. Tito was already doing it on his own before we put a name on Love Tito's. He used to give it away as gifts and to events, which of course included charitable events. The culture that he has started, it all starts with Tito himself and rolls downhill. You know what, if we can go and you know, take our company and support all these people that are finding meaning and purpose in their lives by doing nice things for other people that they don't even know, it makes me happy, it makes all my employees happy. Then I look at it like maybe we can make a little ripple in the world, you know? Most businesses really use organizations to allow them to be known and we kind of flip-flop that. We're able to use our amazing culture around us to give them support and make people more aware of what they do. And I think that's the end goal, is to do something that has meaning and purpose. We're here in this company to make the world a better place and we like to think we're doing it through Tito's Handmade Vodka.
So welcome back. That was the Superstones with their song, I Found Myself, written by Eden stakeholder David Falkenstein. We introduced this song last year, and it went viral, and now has more than 47 million views on TikTok across the world. Its connection to Eden is what led to the creation of Eden's Education and Insight Partners Award. Its first recipients are David and Ruth Falkenstein. Their initiative and creativity came to our community at a time when so many were suffering. The award was presented to the Falkensteins at the Capitol Grill in Dunwoody last week. That's right, Linda. Our cameras were there to capture this very special moment as the Falkensteins received the reward. Let's take a look at that amazing evening. through Page Love and found out about the organization and that it was a an organization that provided exactly what I was lacking during the time that I was having my issues with an eating disorder. Our daughter, Emily's journey began when she was in high school and she started um, having body image issues and Fortunately, with my experience with Eden and my own experiences, we were able to recognize that she was struggling and help her journey to recovery. It was uh, Emily's 21st birthday, and I thought, okay, I'll write her a song for her birthday. And this, uh, Ruth will tell you, like ideas pop in my head sometimes. Unfortunately, they're usually like 4.30 in the morning. And so, Literally, uh, I was thinking about the song, and I had a few lyrics in my head, and I popped up at 4.30, I had a tune in my head, and a uh, kind of recurring theme of a, of a chorus, and I ran downstairs to my little studio in the basement, grabbed a guitar, turned my iPhone on, and recorded kind of the infancy of the song, and uh, it just flowed together. It just, it's just one of those things that just kind of happened. We recorded it on some uh, recording equipment in the basement, sent it off to uh, get some um, collaborative input on a site called Soundkick and SoundCloud. And next thing we knew, uh, within about 48 hours, it had about 100,000 downloads. Well, Ruth and I looked at each other and said, all right, well, this could probably help somebody. So we went off to Nashville in the middle of the pandemic and recorded it. Uh, at a very famous studio, Star Trek Studios, was owned by Kelly Clarkson. Put it out on the internet, put it out on, uh, I guess, TikTok, got, pick, got picked up on TikTok, put it out on Spotify and iTunes, and it just rolled. It just rolled on its own, and we set up a foundation so that all the proceeds from all the streaming content would uh, be delivered to the foundation, the foundation would deliver the funds to some support organizations, one of which is Eden. I think this is uh, a validation of taking something that was a really impactful and difficult time in your life and turning it into something that you are creating resources and opportunity and healing for other people. And I'm, I'm that's incredibly proud of my wife. It did come as a surprise when Marcy um, told us that we were going to be honored. Um, and to be the inaugural recipient is very special. I've always found doing philanthropy and, and working with organizations when they are near and dear to your heart, whatever we can do to help, it's very meaningful and powerful for us. This night is very special with it being the 25th anniversary of Eden and the 11th annual Celebrity Dance Challenge and with all the excitement, even when we have to make pivots and do things differently, I am so proud to be a part of Eden and to celebrate with all of the dancers who, in my opinion, were all winners tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much. So a correction I need to make is it wasn't 47 million views on TikTok. It's actually 57 million views on TikTok, and that's a big difference. 
Now, back to the dancing. Next up is my former dance partner, JJ and Robin Brill with an 80s pop. Let's watch. Hi, I'm Robin Brill. And I'm John James, AKA JJ. The connection to Eden, uh, my nearest and dearest soul sister, Marcy uh, Saran, is Eden's ED. And uh, we all know we can't say no to Marcy, and that's why I'm here. And not being able to say no to Marcy will bring me back for the third year. So I'm happy to be dancing in the Celebrity Dance Challenge and love to be connected with Eden. Eden's work is super important. It's so important to embrace yourself. And uh, no matter your size, no matter your station, you have to put yourself first. When you take care of you, you can look back and take care of others. I think we're gonna win because, or I feel like we're gonna win because this woman works hard. And when I tell you she puts her mind to something, she does it, all right? Between altering her outfit, <laughs> going and doing things, makeup-wise, hair-wise, nails, the whole mm -hmm. shebang. I mean, when I tell you that she surpassed my expectations tenfold, that is why I think we're gonna win. Okay. I think we're going to win because of this guy. I think we're going to win because winner, winner, chicken dip. <laughs> yes. Your butt is mine. Go take a ride. Just show your face. Broad daylight. I'm telling you on how I feel. Gonna hurt your mind. Don't you dare. Jump on, jump on, get on me, all right. I'm giving you on count three. Just show your stuff, or let it be. I'm telling you, just watch your mouth. So fun. Really, all I can say about that was it was bad. <laughs> but let's hear what Sanders has to say. All right, that strobe light is highlighting my comb over, but um, <laughs> I love the 80s. It was fun. Michael Jackson, you can never go wrong with Michael Jackson because both of you are bad, Robin and JJ. Um, I loved the costumes, Robin. I wanted that sequin blazer, and I was kind of bummed that JJ got it halfway through the video. Don't think I didn't notice that, JJ. I want that sequin coat. You were both having fun. You did a great job. I, I don't even know what else to say. Great job, guys. Can we turn this strobe light off now? Because, like, I'm getting way too 80s, 80'd out. I love the 80s. It made me feel like I was young again. And, and thanks, Sanders, for bringing us uh, your commentary on Robin and JJ's dance. Up next, with a special Broadway-style performance, is my friend Chris Schock and Chloe. Watch your screens. My name is Chris Schock. I am the Director of Community Relations for Weldon Behavioral Care and a private therapist. Mm, and I'm Chloe Cordell. My personal connection to Eden is I have worked in some capacity with Eden since 2003 um, through my own journey of recovery. And I've always been amazed how far reaching the resources are. We think that we're just talking to a set of teens and have no idea that that far reaches through their family of origin, through their community, and spreads the awareness of eating disorder prevention. The most enjoyable part, definitely working with Chris. Chris is amazing. <laughs> She is just game. She's always down. I can throw a crazy idea at her. And she's like, yes, let's do it. My most 
challenging part of this dance is Chloe's um, dedication to the prop. One, people should vote for us because we're great with props. We are amazing <laughs> with props. And I think that the song that we do is all about um, embracing who you are and finding your best self. And, and then building that, that self-confidence. Absolutely, absolutely. What gives a girl power and punch? Is it charm? Is it poise? No, it's hairspray. What gets a gal asked out to lunch? Is it brains? Is it dough? No, it's hairspray. If you take a ride with no can at your side, then your flip will be gone with the wind. But if you spray it and lock it, you can take off in a rocket and in outer space. Each hair will be in place. Why take a chance when you get up and dance? If you twist, I insist you use hairspray. And tell your mother her head she should smother with ultra clutch faith believe. So if you're a redhead, a blonde, a brunette, just take my advice and you might just you get might just the only thing better than hairspray. That's me. Forget the milkman. The only thing better than hairspray. That's me. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun, and not. <laughs> It was a lot, there was a lot, sorry. That was definitely a hair do, not a hair don't. Let's go to Kimmy for her remarks. <laughs> Chris and Chloe, your video is super cute, fun, and flirty. You really celebrate the beauty within all of us, and I think that's something to be celebrated. I enjoyed the prop. You guys work that prop, and I love the costuming, and I love the confidence. Great job, ladies. Thanks, Kimmy. Um, at this point in our evening, I want to thank everybody for joining us and also to highlight item number 417, the Cleveland Getaway Package. It's a two-night stay at the Glidden House Inn, a historic bed and breakfast in Cleveland's most famous university circle, home to world-class museums and Cleveland's best entertainment venues. Also included with this trip are two tickets to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum, as well as your choice of two tickets to the Cleveland Orchestra or a show of Broadway productions at the Cleveland Playhouse Square, which is, and I don't know if you knew this, Linda, it's actually the largest venue outside of New York. Wow. Aside from all of that, you're also getting a $300 Delta gift card to offset some of the costs of your air travel. Hmm, I'm glad to know the bidding keeps on going after the show. Another item up for auction is item number 418, a curated dinner for six with wine at the Capitol Grill, Dunwoody. And for those of you who are enjoying our dine along this evening, you can only imagine what a culinary experience that will be. And now it's time for another word from two of this evening's sponsors. Hi, I'm Chris Benziger. I want to say thank you so much for picking up a bottle of this tribute Pinot Noir. I created tribute to honor my family and the 40 years of winemaking history we have here on Sonoma Mountain. This Pinot that you picked up, it's all 100% for Monterey. It's got these bright wild strawberry raspberry notes, a little bit of tea and earthy notes. All that combined makes this a great wine with salmon, with pork, with pizza, one of my favorites. You picked a great wine here. This has got 91 points. And this is a great wine to share with those closest to you, your friends and family, celebrating the big and small things in your life. And as we like to say about tribute, it's all about bold flavors and strong bonds. Thank you so much for picking up a bottle of Tribute Pinot Noir, and cheers. Oh my gosh, this is all my Walden notes. Words that describe life with an eating disorder. Painful, emotional, numbing, isolating, sad, obsessive, dark. Life after an eating disorder. Colorful, bright, alive, brave. 
So I wrote on here, glimmers of hope. Number one, hair soft. Number two, getting excited when I eat something. Number three, liking my reflection in the mirror. Number four, being okay with my body. Number five, smiling at myself in the mirror. I think connection is so important when it comes to recovery. People talk about having family members, aunts, uncles, checking in on them. That just wasn't the case for me. You don't need to do recovery yourself, even if the only support you have is your treatment team and your dog, you can still recover. It'll always hit me, wow, if you were still in your eating disorder, you couldn't have this life. Everyone wants life, it's just being brave enough to choose it. Thank you, Walden. Thank you, Veritas, Dina, Paige, Chris, and all the other therapists that are out there watching tonight. With the pandemic, the people needing support and help with eating disorders has just grown exponentially, and we know how hard you all work, and we really do appreciate what you do. Now for our final dancer. Next up is Dina Zeckhausen and Eric with a lively 90s throwback. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Dina Zeckhausen. I'm the founder of Eden. Hi, I'm Eric Nathan, and I'm the choreographer. Eden's work is so important, especially during this pandemic. There's been so much isolation and disconnection. People have been really struggling with anxiety and depression. A lot of people's eating disorders have gotten worse over this time. And Eden is a place where people can go to find information and find help and find the resources that are here in the Atlanta area. To me, Eden's work is vitally important um, as a person who's had family members suffer from eating disorders, uh, this really is an issue that speaks close to home. Um, I've been lucky enough to volunteer with Eden for several years now for the Celebrity Dance Challenge, and doing events like this to raise money for an organization that does such great work, especially here in Atlanta, is just something that warms my heart, so I'm glad to be a part of it. When I was asked if there was a special place where I wanted to film my video, I picked Chastain Park, and we're sitting here on Merrick's bench in honor of Merrick Ryan. And every year Eden's been having a walk around the park to remember Merrick who passed away from an eating disorder. And so this is, this is kind of a sacred place and it's really an honor to be dancing out here. I think we're gonna win because Dina is phenomenal and I don't think anybody's ready for how great a dancer she has been this whole time. Great to work with, but also super impressive for you guys, so I'm excited. Oh, thank you. about the Don't forget, groove is in the heart. 
I don't know about you all at home, but that never happens to me when I go to Chastain Park. <laughs> Let's hear from Kimmy. Dina and Eric loved the video, loved the love in the video. I enjoyed the song selection. I enjoyed the choreography. Miss Dina, you are hitting those dance steps. And Eric, I really enjoyed your ponytail. Loved it. Um, great job, great job. Keep up the energy, keep up the smiles and all the great work. Lenny loved it too, right baby? You loved it? Lenny loved it too. Are you enjoying your Capitol Grill dine-along with that Tito's cocktail earlier and that lovely bottle of Pinot Noir? It's time now to open our hearts and our pockets and to give for the cause. And the cause this evening is no greater than Eden itself. Nothing goes better than giving than a petite filet and green beans from the Capitol Grill. Our goal for this evening is to raise an additional $10,000 for Eden in the next five minutes. And this just in, to make that goal easier, a gracious donor has agreed to match the first $2,500. But let's start at the $5,000 level. For $5,000, we can develop an interactive course for high school students. In the past, we have pretty much gone into schools, which is harder now with the pandemic, but we are developing interactive courses that we can take into the schools um, digitally, and you can help with that for $5,000 tonight. And I know $5,000 seems a little daunting. There are levels coming up that might be a little bit easier for you to donate. While you're deciding how much to give, let's take a look at some of our behind the scenes bloopers from this evening's competition. Stop, go back. There you go. No, you're good. Still rolling. Yep, looking good. Ooh, I like it. Gosh, well, clearly Ruth can't hold her liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny how much laughing can make you want to give? At the $2,500 level, Eden can train guidance staff and teachers to recognize the signs and symptoms of eating disorders. Actually, I don't know if you noticed, but everything we've done this evening has had an aerosol in it. And at the $1,000 level, we can train 10 new community ambassadors for Eden, and they can go out and speak the messages of Eden to schools, young people's organizations, and um, anyone really who's willing to, 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 to listen what the message is and what the meaning behind our message is. I'd like to thank Benny Saran for your donation so far this evening, and Valerie, thank you so very much as well. You know, for that $1,000, we could probably send aerosol cans with him as well. <laughs> and for $500, you can facilitate a training for schools, counselors, and educators. So needed. I'm just going to take a second. Out of our $100,000 goal, we are currently at 84000 
$167, which is remarkable. That's amazing. And thank you to Valerie um, and Benny, you already mentioned. Thank you so much. At the $100, we can provide resources and referrals to a family in Atlanta in crisis. For everyone who donates at any level this evening, our friends at Tribute Wines have offered to give a bottle of Pinot Noir in celebration of your efforts to help this organization. Also, for the first time, Eden has introducing a Legacy Club membership. This new initiative allows everyone to participate on a monthly basis. Your gift provides a much needed support to schools, communities, and clinicians. New and relapsed cases are at an all time high. In order to join our legacy program, please respond legacy to the Qtego text that should be coming into your machine right now, and we will be in touch. And I have something really exciting to report. I think we've met our matching grant with um, help from David Falkenstein. David, thank you for the $2,500 donation this evening. It'll go a long way to doing a lot of good. And everyone who purchased a dine along this evening will be entered to win a Jeroboam of Tribute Pinot Noir. And we have a surprise second drawing for a dinner for two at the Capitol Grill. Stay tuned. Ellen Shaw, Eileen Shaw, thank you so much for your donation. And thank you so much for participating in this evening's Give for a Cause. If you are so moved, you are welcome to give again and again throughout the evening or to learn more about the monthly sustaining donor program, feel free to call Marcy at the office or shoot an email to info at myeden.org. Hi, Eileen. Thanks for contributing. This is a special year for Eden. 25 years ago, Dina Zeckhausen, a young psychologist, realized the need for resources for those who are suffering from eating sores. And now let's take a look back. Yes, thank you, Dina, and thank you, Julie and my friend, Skip, for your donation. Linda, before we close the auction, I think we have a few little giveaways to do, and let me take my hat off for that. Let's draw for the Jeroboam of Pinot Noir from Imagery Wines and from our friends at Tribute. Okay, here we go. This goes to Robert Love. And now, dinner for two at the Capitol Grill in Dunwoody. And this will go to Betsy Thurston. Thank you so much for joining us at the Capitol Grill Dine Along, and we hope you're enjoying your dinner as much as we will enjoy our dinner when the show is over. And thank you, Lisa, for your donation. And we're now at $87,617. Let's close our auction. But wait, Sean, aren't there people still bidding? You know, Linda, there are people still bidding, and I wonder, since there are people still bidding, why don't we extend the closing of this evening's auction until 10.30 a.m. tomorrow, Monday morning? That way you can discuss with your family if you want to go to Italy or Mexico. In fact, Sean, why don't we just open it up to anyone who wants to go? We are going to turn both Italy and Mexico into an Instagram buy. Yet again, another brilliant idea from my co-host this evening, Linda. Basically, what Linda has offered is that you can go to the Qtego link right now and just click on either Tuscany, 
Italy or Mexico, and they are insta buys. So you just hit the button and you have immediately won those trips. So I encourage everybody to do it. Both donations are wonderful. Remember, the trips are live, as is the entirety of the auction, until tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning. And you will receive text messages from QTAGO about the status of your bill, bid throughout the remainder of this evening and through tomorrow morning. Before we crown our winner and uh, get to the end of the show, I think we need to do a hats off to Marietta Diner for their thoughtful and sweet donation this evening because I'm sure most of you now are beginning to enjoy your cheesecake. For now, the next thing we have is a little bit more of an entertainment for you. It's Excel Studios teen program dancers with another little snippet of their work here in Atlanta. Let's take a look. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. It is time to announce our winners. But before we do that, let's revisit a truly winning performance from last year. Kitty cat cat, tell me Carol Baskin, where is the husband? Everyone's asking, stimulus check, everybody better cash in, mask and gloves, yeah, that's a new fashion. Girl, what did that girl just say, girl? Ooh. What you gonna let them see? My mask, gloves, soap, scrubs, mask, gloves, soap, scrubs, mask, gloves, soap, scrubs, mask, gloves, soap, scrubs. Mask, gloves, soap, scrubs. Ah! home, gym, fish, don't come close, just wave, wave, blow, yeah. kiss. Clearly, I wasn't watching my own dance, <laughs> but it was fantastic, wasn't it? Yes, it was a fantastic dance, and I loved dancing in competition with, um, what was your name again? I'm Linda. I Linda, think. last year. But I have to say, Linda, you did win, but have you ever been prominently featured in one of Atlanta's premier lifestyle magazines? Let me see that. Where are you? Oh, 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 you mean back here on the back page? <laughs> it was the back page, but it's still, it was a feature. It was, and all kidding aside, Sean, I'd like to thank you for all you do for Eden. Thank you. Now tonight, there are two winners, the People's Choice, which is the dance team that has received the most votes and raised the most money, and the Judges' Choice. So first up is the Judges' Choice Award. The Judges' Choice Award this evening is being awarded to, do I have a drum roll? Ladies and gentlemen, applause for Robin Brill and her dance partner, JJ. I would accept this award on your behalf, but I know that if I don't give it to Linda, she'll get angry. Just to add to my collection, oh, you mean I have to give it to them, okay. You have to give it to them. All right, and our official winner, the dance team that has raised the most money for Eden is Robin and JJ. And I just said the wrong one. 
It's Tina and Eric. So we're gonna let's we're gonna say it one more time. Let's so do it, it all over. We'll do it all over. Okay. Let's right. do it all over. So because you stole my line, actually. So judges' choice for this evening are Robin and JJ, and the winner of the 11th annual Veritas Celebrity Dance Challenge is Dina and Eric. Yay! <laughs> And this is for them. Joining us on stage now, Marcy Saran with some special news about how successful we've been this evening. Marcy, great show, thank you. Thank you, thank you both for all you do for Eden. So tonight we've raised more than $87,000. Thank you so much for being a part of Eden and for supporting us and also for supporting your dancers. So we will see you on November 14th at Chastain Park for the 21st Merrick's Walk in honor of Merrick Ryan, who died of complications to anorexia at 19. Thank you all so much for being with us, and good night. Good night. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for supporting Eden. We'll see you next year. Keep bidding. Keep voting. Let's hope dance again. <laughs>